This is made of paper and it's likely to go in the trash. But this is made of metal and it's going in someone's pocket. These are high tech, high profit NFC business cards and we're gonna show you how we made them for about a dollar. What is up? Welcome back. We know you love to do it, build it and make it. And we're here to help you sell it. This week we have a techie project for you. I was scrolling my social media feed and I came across these NFC enabled business cards and I knew that we could make those. And I looked at the price, they were $32 just for the plain ones, $75 if you want your logo on them. What? I know we could replicate those for cheaper and then we could offer those as upsells to our B2B customers. Today we're gonna to take you through the process of how to make them, how they look when they're completed and how much the actual cost is and how to sell them. But here's the challenge with typical NFC tags, you can't just slap it on a metal business card and use it because the metal acts as a Faraday cage, which detunes the antenna. The solution here is pretty simple. We're gonna get special NFC tags that can be used on metal. They're actually labeled anti-metal NFC tags. These tags have a thick, dark ferrite backing layer that allows you to use them on metal. We're gonna set up our file in Illustrator. It's super easy, it should take like five minutes. The first thing we're going to do is draw an outline of our business card. It's just an outline. It's a red stroke with no fill. These are the dimensions of our business card. They're 3.35 by 2.08. I'm going to export this as a PNG. I'm going to make sure that used artboards is checked and we're going to name this jig. This will be the jig that gets printed on the bed of the UV printer so we'll know where to put the business cards so that we'll put the artwork on them. We'll bring the artwork back in. I'm just gonna unhide this layer. I don't need the jig layer anymore, so I can hide that. We're gonna add a little NFC sticker about the place where the little NFC logo is. And we don't wanna hump where the sticker will be. So we're gonna try to build up some white ink around the sticker to try to make sure it looks nice and even or flat. To do that, we're gonna start with some circles. These are some one inch circles. I place them about where the little logo is for NFC. Now I'm gonna bring in a white layer. This is just the same as the little jig up here. So I'm gonna select the circle and the white backer and we'll say subtract front. And we'll do the same for this guy, subtract front. I'm gonna hide the artwork and we're gonna export this as our white buildup. We'll just say white, this is gonna be our white layer. White layer. Again, we're gonna make sure that used artboards is selected and we'll export this as a PNG. Finally, we'll bring back our artwork and we're just gonna export this as a PNG also. Make sure the used artboards is selected and we're gonna call this one artwork. And we're gonna export as a PNG. Now that was easy. We're using our Seclamo mat. This is a sticky mat. This is where we'll print the jig or the outline of our business card so we know exactly where to place them on the bed. Here we are in our LogoJet Print Pro software. First thing we're gonna do is load our image and we're gonna start with the jig file that we created. And then we're simply going to create an environment. And in this case, we're gonna use color only. And we'll add our jig to the layout. And then we like to push it away from the edge just a little bit for safety purposes, so we'll go over here and say 0 0.2, 0 0.2, yeah, okay. And then I'm just gonna double check my properties and make sure that I'm only doing color, and I am. I'm gonna adjust my bed height, it's auto adjust. And then we're just going to cl click print. Now that we have our jig printed on our Seclama mat, we're gonna add our business cards. I'm gonna do one in black and one in silver. 
And I'm going to try and line it up right here to our jig. All right, I think, I think that's it. Looks good to me. Close enough, I guess. All right, looks good. A little overhead. Any red showing? I don't think so. Looks good. Now, we did a little research, and it says that using the anodized aluminum is best for printing on these business cards, but you'll still want to prime it with a little metal primer. It cleans the surface so the ink bonds a little bit better. So I'm just going to put a little dab on my paper towel here and just clean the surface. Oh, it's just like cleaning it? It's There's just, no wipe on, wipe off? No, it's just like alcohol. Okay, now that we have our jig printed, we're going to go ahead and just import the white layer. Oh. It opens the image. Going back to our environment here, our opened images. We're going to double click to add it to our layout. We're going to just make sure that this time our layer selection is going to be in white. Now we know that six layers of white will give us about 0.23 and that's about the width or the height of the NFC tag. So let's put in six layers of white. Six, that's thick. That's thick. And we'll hit okay. And now we'll hit print. Okay, it might not have been perfect placement because there's a sliver of black showing, but for production, I'll fix that. We'll make a bigger bleed. Now let's put our NFC tags. They're super thin, and I'm gonna put them right in this little circle here. Let's see if I can get it perfect. That looks pretty perfect to me. And it didn't really matter what color card because we used so many layers of white. Yes. I guess mm -hmm. we could have started with whatever was the least expensive color. They were the same. Oh. It didn't really matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Now that we have our white layer added to our business card, it's time to add our image. So we're going to bring in our image file that Garrett created. Open our layout. Add our artwork. We're gonna go ahead before we forget and offset. Because I did it to the first one, I have to do it to all of them. And now let's go in and update our layers. Okay, do we think we should do two white layers to cover up the NFC tag, you think? Yes, I think two white layers just to make sure that silver tag is covered. One color, and then I'm gonna add the clear gloss just to make sure that the that it's durable yeah. when you're using it and carrying it in your pocket. So I've got two whites, one color, one clear. Agreed. <laughs> I don't have to adjust the height, I'm still using the same thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit print. So this is our first test run. You can still see the NFC tag. So I think what we're going to do is try a different approach. I think we're going to do six layers of Braille. Braille is what builds texture when you're doing UV printing. So I'm going to try six layers of Braille, see if that gives me a larger, deeper pocket to put the NFC tag in. Test number three, six layers of Braille was way too many. So I don't know what we were thinking because one layer of Braille is four layers of white. So we were, it ended up being way too thick. So we're gonna try again with two layers of Braille. I think we finally have it figured out. It's four layers of Braille, puts us at 0.28. The tag is 0.27, so I think we're good. Now we're gonna add our color on top. Three layers of white, one layer of color, and a layer of clear. I 
Kim has the cards all printed. Now I'm going to program them. I'm going to use an app on my phone. We're going to use the NFC Tools app right here. Bing. I'm going to go to Write. I'm going to add a record. We'll add a URL. I have a URL saved in my clipboard. We'll paste that in. We'll say OK. Now I'm going to click Write Bytes. Now I'm going to take this little circle area and I'm going to scan it. Complete. Close it. We'll close the app and we're going to test it. There we are. Look at that. Look how easy that is. We found three different metal business cards. They have the 0 0.018 millimeter. This is a thin guy. This is 18 cents a piece. Listen to this. It's thin. We'll drop it on the desk here. No, no real sound. Then there's a slightly thicker version. This is a point. I can't really bend it like that. It doesn't really bend. This is 0 0.41 and this is 22 cents a piece. We'll do the drop test. That sounds like it's metal. And then finally we found 0.8. This is a thick guy. This is 50 cents a piece. This is definitely metal. We'll do the drop test. That is definitely metal. And we found some plastic versions we didn't think we needed, and those were only 13 cents a piece. For our total cost breakdown, the cards were 24 cents each. This is for the medium thickness. The braille layers were 99 cents. The color layer was 57 cents. And the second side white color layer was 25 cents for a total cost of $2.05. And this is for the two cards that we did. So they're actually about a dollar two each. Now we won't just sell these as cards. We're gonna sell these as digital profiles or forever cards. We're gonna have some nice packaging. It's gonna be a black box with a shiny logo on there. You open it up with some more black packaging. Put the card in here. Opening this is gonna be an experience and worth the money. Yes, you can sell these anywhere from $25 to $50. You're way undercutting the big guys. And you can use these over and over again. So they're perfect for folks like realtors, salesmen, tradesmen that are talking to clients all day, every day. These cards are perfect to transfer your information and then keep them right in your pocket. Or you can give it right to them if you feel like you've got a bunch of them, give it to them. But they're really just for you to have and tap at any point. And then you have a virtual card with all of your information right on their phone. Make a quick video of it being used. Make several videos of it being used. Post yes. it on your social media. Good marketing. Take the one that does the best organically and boost that post or make it an ad. I mean, that's how I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're in for a dollar. You sell it for 30. That's like a 3,000% profit margin. That is a good chunk of change. Yeah, I like it. It worked. I mean, that's what we wanted to do is make sure this idea that we had worked and it did. I love them. I think they're great. You know who else I love? I love <laughs> the Make It Mafia. The Make It Mafia, that is the best ma mafia over there. That is just like family mm -hmm. over there. And it also comes with behind the scenes content, extra content, Zoom calls, digital downloads. I mean, there's just a ton of stuff over there.